Uh, so this is Cam Oliver uh, from the University of Nevada, and uh, this is my pre-draft workouts. Uh, normal day, been basically um, 9.30, get up early, uh, work out pretty much from 9.30 to 11. Uh, work on pretty much just getting in shape, man, just getting in shape, uh, getting ready to be that professional level, you know, pretty much just working out things I'm pretty much good at, you know, and just sharpening those tools, you know, and uh, pretty much working on the weaknesses as, you know, with post game, my footwork, and uh, just mainly just getting in shape. And you had some NBA teams out here today watching you. What do you think you were able to show? Um, just my athleticism, you know, uh, definitely show them how much greater shape I am. I mean, as in right now from what I was at about, say, a month ago. You know, and I've shown that uh, I'm working on a lot of my footwork, you know, just being patient, you know, and knowing how to use my big shoulders, you know, my big uh, physical body, you know, and just really working in the paint and working inside my out game. Yeah. You know, what have the last few years been like for you? Oh, uh, man, it's a long story, but uh, it's, it's been it's been a roller coaster. I can definitely say that. But, uh, yeah, I committed to Oregon State out of high school. But um, during that process, my coaching staff got fired. You know, and uh, that kind of really threw me through a loop. You know, I kind of had mixed feelings about there, you know. So I tried giving it a shot there, and it wasn't really a good fit. You know, so I decommitted and sat out for a year. Then um, Coach Musselman, you know, he I think he recruited me for a long time, you know. So he finally got the job to Nevada. One of my coaching staff from Oregon State that got fired went to Nevada. You know, so that was kind of a good mutual uh, mutual friendship right there, you know. So it was just a perfect fit for me, you know. Um, it wasn't that far away from Sacramento, from Oakland. You know, and um, it just felt a good fit. You know, I, I believe in Coach Muss, and we had phenomenal years there so far. What led to your decision to, you know, enter the NBA draft and kind of pursue a pro career? Um, I just found I'm in a great position right now. You know, um, like I said, in Nevada, we, we really had two phenomenal years, man. We changed the whole culture around, you know, especially if you see now how much of the transfer market is going there, you know, how much commitments are getting there, how much the, just the Reno community, it was just perfect, you know, and I felt, I did a lot, you know, um, as in just not only was me with my, my brothers on the team too, with the coaching staff, you know, and I just thought I was in a really good position to take this opportunity. You know, I have a family to take care of now, you know, and uh, I feel ready for it. You know, I've been wearing this dream for the longest since I was a little boy in Oakland, man. This is, is I'm ready for this opportunity. What do you think you can bring to an NBA team? Um, I can bring a lot. I can bring uh, leadership. You know, I can bring uh, a hard worker. You know, um, a good person off the court, on the court. You know, a great teammate. You know, and just a workhorse up and down, man. What do you, and so you're going to go to the combine. You're going to play five on five. What do you? Is there anything you think you can show there that maybe you weren't able to show at, at Nevada? Uh, of course, of course. I, I feel uh, as in now, you know, with the NBA game, man, is you can really take your time and really figure out what your how your game is going to work. You know, so that's what I think I've been doing. I feel college is a little bit rushed. You know, uh, but that's what the NBA. You can take your time. You can take your patience. You know, and really work out a certain your your strengths. You know, so I could definitely show a lot. It's gonna be a way different. I'm a way different person than I was a month ago, a couple months ago. And in terms of the, you talk about where the NBA is going now. You're seeing guys, you know, six, seven, six, eight, even playing some five. Right. You know, and small ball style, get up and down. How do you think you fit in that? I think I fit perfect. Perfect. You know, um, I definitely remember my game off of Draymond Green. You know, like I said, I'm from Oakland, man, so I watch the Warriors completely every single time I get a chance to, you know, and Draymond Green is definitely a person that is the, the 6'8", 250, you know, uh, center, power forward, a three-man if you can be, you know, so I, I'm definitely, I feel I, I could be part of that game really well, you know, I make my game after him, you know, and I'm really to bring that type of versatility to the NBA. Do you think there are any misconceptions about you or your game, and if so, what, what would they be? You think? Um, I just think uh, probably it's more as my effort. You know, um, I know I hear all the time, sometimes he takes plays off, sometimes he does. You know, it's, 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 it's a hit or miss thing right now, but I'm just going to show the fact I could, I could bring it 150% every single time. You know, uh, like I said, this whole month I changed to a whole different person, you know, and um, you're just going to be able to see a different person when it comes down to it. So uh, explain the difference, like the evolution for you as a person, you said, the last month or two. Um, what's changed? What's led to that? Um, I, got, I mean, just pretty much just taking, just taking patience, you know, uh, just really taking my time and really noticing who I am and trying to be somebody I don't, you know, really taking my time, really evaluate my game, really sit and really notice what I could have did more, what I could have did better, you know, and it's just my effort, you know, I think it's my effort as a mentality, like, it's, I probably say the NBA is 90% mental, you know, 10% physical, you know, so I think as of now I'm taking my time, really taking my patience and really um, noticing what I'm doing to get better. And do you know where you're at in terms of height, weight, wingspan? Yeah, I'm um, 6'8", 
I'm two, I'm probably 245 right now, and uh, my wingspan is a legit seven foot. Okay, and is there anyone, you said you watched a lot of Draymond, anyone else you think you kind of play like? Um, Draymond Green, I'd probably say Paul Millsap. Uh, just certain people that I, I know that's vers like versatility, you know, as in just they can shoot the three, you know, they could bang down low, they can run the, run the floor, pass, whatever, you know, just pretty much have that type of guard mentality. You know, I could definitely bring that now, you know, uh, with, with the game I'm developing to as in right now, you know, so uh, especially watching them and really getting the feel for their game, and, you know, I, I really love their game and I just try my best to put it on the court. What can you tell us about your family background? Uh, how long you've been playing? Do you have any siblings who played, things like that? Oh, well, I'm from a basketball family, you know, so my dad, uh, like I said, growing up in Oakland, you know, all he did was bring me to the park, you know, it's get away from that gangs and, and violence, you know, and I appreciate as much as possible what my parents done for me to keep me so involved in sports, you know, so actually, to be honest, I wasn't really much of a basketball player. I played baseball for nine years. Okay. Yeah, and I played football for four, you know, uh, but so it was just kind of a, everybody's kind of waiting for me to kind of go to that basketball side, you know, but um, my brother played, all my brothers played basketball. I mean, they kind of they lean on to some, like some different, you know, but I mean, they're still successful whatever they do right now, you know, but um, I pretty much kind of just took the took the throne right now, you know, and just kind of went from there. Like I said, growing up in Oakland, all it is is sports, you know, either sports or the, the gangs or the violence, you know, so I mean, I'm glad I took the right path, you know, and you know, a lot of, it's, it's a long story to it, but I'm glad I took the right path, man. I, I represent Oakland as much as possible. You know, I, I, I know I went to high school in Sacramento, you know, I give that as much prop as possible can, but I mean, Oakland's also my heart, man. Great. Well, thanks so much, Cam. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.